Me dre, me dre. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Anna Diva and I am black. So welcome back to my podcast slash blog, Unpopular Opinion. On today's episode, I just want to talk about something that was inspired by my friend Diana. Shout out to you. Um, she was basically talking about how she went to a social entrepreneurial event by herself And then I was like, ah, I also used to go everywhere by myself. I still do So maybe I should talk about that, but I wanted to talk about it from a different sense, but more like the the power of loneliness, you know <clears throat> So if you don't know, I mean you do know, but if you don't know <laughs> I live in Germany now, but before I came to Germany I had some experiences that gave me the opportunity to be where I am now and to just like be by myself and do everything by myself and not feel some type of way and not feel weird or excluded or awkward or like like I'm trying to be too different or something. So when I first started being by myself was when I went to Finland for my student exchange. I wanted to go out um, with my roommate. We used to go out a lot together, like when we first got there, obviously. So we would like do everything. We'd go to different islands. We'd go to different forests. Um, but then there was this one African party and I was like, dude, I really want to go here because I've never been to like an African party before. So I went to the party by myself and it was cancelled or something. I don't remember, but it just didn't take place. So then I had to go back home and then she was like, oh, what happened? I was like, no, the party got cancelled. So then at the next party, I was like, come on, let's go to this party together. But then she was like, no, since the party got cancelled last time, like, what if it's cancelled again this time? I don't want to go, like, get, spend my time getting ready and then it's cancelled. So then I was like, okay, fine, I'll just go by myself again. But this time around, I knew the DJ because a friend of mine had hooked, like, connected us. Hooked us up, clink, picky snacks. But he connected us, so then he was like, yeah, I'm playing here tonight, come through. So I come to the event by myself, obviously, and I walk to the DJ booth and I'm like, dude, I'm here by myself, you know, like, what am I going to do, like... What do I do? And then he was like, no, it's fine. Like you can just stand here with me or look around in the place. So it was like a small bar, kind of like an intimate vibe. So he's like, look around and see like who you think you could vibe with or who you think looks friendly or approachable and go to them and start talking to them. So I walked up to these two girls from, um, I think they were from Somalia or Eritrea. Anyways, I walked up to them because I was like, okay, African people, welcoming i'm gonna go there so then i spoke to them and they were so nice and friendly i actually ended up telling them because they were like oh who are you here with and i was like no i'm actually a friend of the dj but i'm here by myself so they were like oh you're here by yourself that's actually really brave that's cool i never had the guys to go out by myself because they're two friends and they were like yeah if my friend is not like available we don't go anywhere so now finally our schedules match so we go somewhere and after that like we still stayed friends to this day we still talk and when, last time i went to finland i also like um, made up with them but that experience like going out with them was so nice because we spent the whole night together we were dancing and all that stuff and then we exchanged numbers and then we went out again together after that and i was like would i have met these people if i wasn't by myself like if i was with another group of friends was i gonna approach them and talk to them or was i just gonna stay with my group of friends because when i would go out in a group with like other friends of mine like even when we went out with a namibian group in finland i was just with them the whole night i didn't hang out with other people like i was just with the namibian people and we stayed together the whole time we didn't like blend or bond with others we were just by ourselves and i feel like when you are alone you are more likely to meet or connect or network with people that you've never met before like if you go to a conference by yourself it's more likely that you will network with other people than the people you came with to the conference like if you have two friends that are also in the same industry and you guys go to the same uh, conference you're more likely to talk to each other during the tea breaks instead of talking to completely strangers so that you can get to know other people and so that you can also get to like make new networks and form new friendships you know and this doesn't only go for like restaurants you can also go eat out by yourself and stuff like that and i also found that like when i go out alone when i go out alone i'm less likely to feel so judged by the way that i behave like i'm less likely to feel under pressure to behave a certain way because i'm around certain people so i'm less likely to be like 
oh um i shouldn't dance too much or i shouldn't talk too loud or i shouldn't like talk to this person or talk to that person because my friends are gonna be like why are you talking to those people or my friends are gonna be like who's that guy that you're talking to or my friends are gonna be like uh we don't talk to people like that or whatever but if i'm by myself like i'm less likely to think about the opinions of other people because i'm all by myself you know like it's just me I, i'm here by myself and whoever i meet I can tell them like you know you're disturbing my peace please leave me alone i came here by myself i'd like to be by myself or i can get to know someone new that i would most likely not have gotten to know if i was uh, with other people that i know and i feel like still a lot of people are under this pressure like even on my instagram when i tell people like i'm going to concerts by myself and stuff like that people always comment and they're like i wish i had the strength to go out by myself i wish i had the strength to go like to concerts by myself people will be like oh i really wish i had the confidence to go out by myself to go to concerts by myself and all that stuff but for me i i think i got to the point where i was like am i always going to wait for someone to want to do something with me like am i always going to wait for someone to be interested in something that i'm interested in like am i always going to wait for someone to like this concert or to like this artist and feel like this artist is cool enough to go to their concert because the reality is most of the time that's not the case like everybody's interested in different stuff and if you always wait for someone to be interested in something you're interested in you might not really experience that much in life just to be honest with you and this is where you also see like a lot of people on Instagram now going on solo trips, solo vacations, solo dates because also maybe like for me, I think, I don't know if you're like me, but I'm a very punctual, organized person and if I want to go somewhere, I have a plan, I have like um, an itinerary plan, I have like everything sorted out in my mind already, like I want to go to this restaurant, I had already looked at the menu, I maybe want to order this and that that I think is interesting. Um, I'm thinking of getting maybe a wine, a bottle or a glass. Like I already planned certain things in my mind. If I go with my friends and my friends are probably late or they don't want to maybe eat as much as I want to eat. Like maybe they just want to have one drink and they don't want to eat any food. And then it's like, okay, now they're drinking one drink and they're waiting for me to finish my food and finish my maybe three cocktails. And it's like, now I'm like holding up the... The vibe because now she's just waiting for me because she's done like with her drinks and stuff like that or she's late and now i have to sit there alone in the restaurant for like 30 minutes waiting for her because you know she missed the bus or something and i feel like for me that my like my mood or my vibe is very important in any situation that i'm in like it's very important that the vibe is not like forced or i'm not like I don't like I don't have to force the vibe because I don't want to force the vibe I don't have to I don't want to have to sit there and be like if she came 30 minutes earlier then it would have been you know and I really don't like that and I feel like also in terms of that that's where like being alone is better than being in an air in a situation where you constantly have to complain or in a situation where you feel like you're not being taken as seriously or just you know like Maybe your friends don't like the same food that you like or they don't like the same music that you like or they don't like the same conferences that you like or they don't like the same artists that you like. Why do you want to rob yourself of like a really beautiful experience just because the people that you are friends with are unable to come to the thing? Like make that make sense. Because I feel like also when you isolate yourself, you are able to... Or not isolate but when you are lonely or when you are alone you're able to make decisions based on solely your perspective because i've made a lot of decisions before where i think like okay this is acceptable to my family or this is acceptable to my friends or this is acceptable to society you know like um i was i was deputy head girl i was the smartest girl so i should make decisions like this because how can a deputy head girl make decisions like that I remember even once when I went out in high school with my friend, someone was like, oh, they're going to find the deputy head girl here and then she's going to get expelled or whatever. And I was like thinking for myself ever since that day, I was like always thinking like based on my reputation, should I be doing stuff like this or based on a certain position that I have, should I be doing stuff like this? But what if I really want to do it? Like what if I really wanted to be there? What if I really wanted to be at this concert? Do you know what I mean? Like Beyonce is coming to Germany, for example. I have friends of mine that are like, I would never spend that much money on a Beyonce ticket, even though I love Beyonce so much, whatever, whatever, whatever. But I love Beyonce. I am a Beyonce stan. 
I am part of the beehive. This is serious business. Like, why would I want to miss out on seeing Beyonce perform just because some people think that the tickets are overpriced? Excuse me. If I have the money, why not? Why not? Why would I not go? Why would I? Also, this is also sometimes I feel like maybe people don't have the money or they don't have the resources or the you know so they're just like mm, like they talk down on whatever you wanted to do so that they could make you feel like if you don't go then they don't have the formal you know i'm gonna go to beyonce by myself and i'm gonna turn up and it's going to be the most unforgettable experience of my life you guys have already been seeing the videos on instagram of this tour and i am ready to feel the fantasy okay i'm ready to be within i already have my outfit i already know what i'm gonna do with my hair I already know where I'm gonna stay. The girl is prepared, okay? The girl is ready. The girl is focused. Because I feel like sometimes it's not even malicious. Maybe the people don't even mean it in a bad way, like to say, why are you interested in this thing? Maybe they're just asking also. But then the tone and also you maybe having your own insecurities and your own stuff in your brain, you just take it as like, okay, this thing is not as cool to go to, so. I'm not gonna go but for me i feel like i'm at that stage of my life i'm 25 years old guys like who am i gonna be pretending to who am i gonna lie to who am i gonna like who do i need to look cool for i'm 25 like those things don't matter anymore now life is getting real at this age life is getting real you need to decide where you want to be in life so if you want to be looking cool and not go to beyonce because the group is not going to beyonce Oh, you are losing out because do what you want to do. If you want to go to this thing by yourself, if you want to go to do this vacation by yourself, go to the vacation by yourself. If you want to go to dinner and none of your friends want to go to dinner, go to dinner by yourself. You know, like I know some people like my older sister, she always said like, I would have my last $50 and I will spend it on food. If I'm craving something, I'm even gonna walk 20 kilometers to the store to buy the thing for myself if I want it. And a lot of people don't have that mentality. Now, if you're always waiting for someone to also be in the mood to spend their last $50 on food, Jaisal Langbach. Jaisal the Yella Yarbach, you'll wait the whole year for someone to be in the mood to do something that you wanna do. Like, I feel like at this point, we need to start living life for ourselves and for our interests and for our desires and for things that make us truly happy on the inside and not things that we feel like are going to make other people like us or other people accept us or stuff like that because you miss out on a lot of opportunities when you are always thinking about the group what's good for the goose is not always good for the gander and I know that metaphor is meant to mean something else, but for this context, I literally mean it in that way. What's good for you is maybe not good for everybody else. So you do what's good for you. You know what I mean? Like, I love, I love dance hall music. If Spice is to come to Germany, by, for example, I'm going to go to Spice. Like, I'm not even going to think about who am I going with, who do I need to call, even though I'm going with Latifa. But like, I'm just going to go. And if Latifa is sick or she's at work or something, I'm going. I am going, my darling. I'm going there. Nobody can stop me. Who? <laughs> I'm going there. Excel Khan. Guys, life is short. Life is so short to be thinking about people and like, oh, are people going to call me weird because I went to the concert by myself? Are people going to think I'm weird because I did this and that? Bra, lieve you lieve. Demons a whole anyways, Nifa Joni. Live your life. Live your life. You can't come and kill yourself. Hmm? I don't my dear, enjoy life. Enjoyment. Any little any little money, any little change like this. My enjoyment. That's all I would ever think about in my life if I was. I'm not I'm not playing games, guys. Like life is so short. There's no need for you to be feeling like you need to look a certain way or do certain things just because what other people are going to say, no ways. Listen, in life, you must put on earplugs. 
and ask yourself the questions and ask yourself for your own opinion ask yourself for your preferences ask yourself for your own decisions talk to yourself about yourself you know make decisions for yourself by yourself especially like as i'm getting older this thing of asking everybody what should i do um do you think i should do this i want to do this job but do you think hey it's your bills it's your future it's your retirement plan it's your life if these people make a decision you are the one that's going to suffer the consequences so are you gonna let other people determine your life or your decisions for your own self i think not so rack vakar music and wake up wake up my child wake up because the power of loneliness like when i came to germany i did research all by myself in my room every day i was on my laptop i was on my phone hey i was doing the most i was always talking to one friend of mine we are friends now finally we were just like acquaintances first um she had moved to netherlands or amsterdam or something in university like second year the girl just disappeared i was like hey eh? and then so then when she like reappeared i decided to dm her and i was like you know because there was like the pandemic lockdown year eh? and i was like um hey i see you moved um to amsterdam like what are you doing there how did you get there da, 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 da. and she told me and i was like okay these are my options like i can study i can come to like do a volunteer year i can be a nurse i can do this i can do that and then i was like okay i'm gonna like maybe i should study but like what should i study how am i gonna be relevant in the new age that's coming now because after the pandemic the labor market changed the style of work changed just the way the future of work started to become clearer you know and it was more like digital and all that stuff so i was like let me maybe study and then i do like something that has to do with like digital stuff or like computer technology or just something so that if ever you know like this happens again i will have a job because i studied sociology and political science if you guys don't know and i was like mm, this sociology now is not bringing anything Charlie. we are still at home <laughs> with a bachelor's <laughs> with a bachelor's <laughs> so i was like i need to be ffr right now i need to like think about life because <laughs> i'm not getting any younger and i saw like a lot of scholarship opportunities in case you don't know but a lot of scholarship opportunities or even just like opportunities to volunteer or like do anything like being an au pair or something they have like an age limit of 25 years and i was already um 23 at the time and i was like i boy boy i have two years left if i want to do something now is the time because i was estimating like okay we'll spend one year in lockdown I'll be 23 by the time the year is over and then we'll maybe spend like another year recovering from the lockdown or like you know the red list black list blue list um flying in flying out whatever so from there i have to calculate also now getting the funds finding a place to stay because when i went to finland the whole process took like two months no three months to get like my visa to get a place to stay to get insurance to do all that stuff so i was like thinking okay if this took three months and it was already organized by the university what is it gonna take for me by myself like to do all these things for me by myself because my mom obviously didn't know how to do this stuff my siblings didn't know how to do this stuff i didn't tell anybody nobody until everything was done and then i came to my mom because i was like okay now my mom has to buy me the flight ticket because i don't have money for the plane who has eleven thousand? just chilling in the account so i had to tell my mom i was like okay mommy i have this opportunity now to go to germany um can you buy the flight ticket and she was like hey i was like yeah girl everything is done here are the papers i signed the things um i talked to my older sister though because she was helping me with everything because she's very smart in the family so i was like okay i'm gonna i'm gonna keep talking to her and asking her for stuff so she helped me with like setting everything up and i just showed my mom i was like these are the papers this is the things this is where i'm going this is what i'm gonna do this is my plan um this is my appointment at the embassy i was like it just it, i'm ready i am ready to go and i did all these things by myself i didn't tell anyone i didn't even tell the boyfriend that i had at the time i also just told everybody when everything was done 
when I had to like now start like going to the embassy, getting my visa, stuff like that, then I started talking to people. And I feel like I would not have done that if I had spoken to people. Because people would have told me, you don't even have money, um, where, where are you going to work, are you going to work these small jobs, you know, Namibians abroad, they are struggling, they don't have real jobs, um, how are you going to like pay for your studies, how are you going to pay for your rent. I said, hey, God is going to provide the ancestors will do something because why did I manage to get this far if they're not gonna take me further yeah yeah so I said ah things must move into both something must happen I cannot just be sitting at home every day looking at my parents how what every day just sitting at home thinking of the next hustle thinking of the next way to make money die as 11 I'm telling you now when I came here, I started working. I had a really bad job, like my first job. Yo, I quit. Like <laughs> in the, I stayed there one month. I stayed two weeks, and then my boss, like things happened. I maybe I'll make a story time of that, but my boss like was not a nice person. So I quit, like after two weeks. I gave my two week notice so that at the end of that month, I'm not working anymore and I got paid. I said no, I think I said two months to be honest. The first month was okay, but the second month was hell. And after the six weeks, you uh uh. And I was like getting sick all the time when I was working there. And I feel like it was just stress because I've also never worked like a real job. I did when I was in high school, but that was like nice. Like it was easy because I was making easy money. Even though the hours were insane, it was fine because I was young and I had a lot of energy. But now I was like, yo, I actually could go to hospital for stress because I was always sick. And once I started my new job, I was like feeling so nice. I never got sick. I only got sick once, like for real. But that was just like a fever and I was off for four days. But like everything else, yo. So anyways, um, before I start rambling and digressing, I just want to say, live your life for yourself. Don't think about what people are going to think about you. It's hard not to care about people's opinions on your life. But you have to tap in, you have to lock in, you have to, you know, you have to focus, you have to put parallel vision or tunnel vision, what? Tunnel vision. Chimunet, furantu. Don't look here. Just be. Stay in your lane, bruh. Focus on yourself. You know what I'm saying? Be alone. There is power in loneliness. There is power in not having people to talk to. There is power in not having people to do things with. There is so much power in Jesus' name. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this episode. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you want to talk to us, you can talk to us on Spotify. You can always send us a voice note and we can listen to your opinions or whatever you want to say. If you want to give someone a shout out, you can even do that and we can play it in the next episode. Um, yeah, thank you so much for being here. See you in the next episode.